Well, both Buzz and I admired Pat very much. When she took over the foundation, it really was very small, and she had a goal in mind, and she worked toward that goal tirelessly. And when she left, the foundation had grown to be an incredible organization that had started a number of different things. I remember Pat, when the foundation decided to tear down the mall and re come up from the ashes as Hunt's sculpture represents. And Pat looked out the window at the foundation and said, oh my gosh, what have we done? <laughs> there's nothing there. Well, there's plenty there now. And she was right in what she did. And with a lot of foresight. So it's really rewarding to me to see this town come alive. It's a beautiful natural area really beautiful and we're doing a lot of wonderful things over here and we care a lot about the people that live here very diverse we're still a blue-collar town but we're a proud blue-collar town and we love all our people you know either the executives or the workers or the people that aren't working the stay-at-home moms you know they're all a part of the fabric of Muskegon and I'm very proud of it. But for him, for Buzz, it was if he had a viable business, he was keeping people employed, and that was the best thing he could do for Muskegon. Lorne Industries is a company that does continuous coil anodizing. It coats the aluminum with its own anodic coating. It had been his father's business. He had started it. Buzz took it over, made a lot of improvements. Other than that, yes, he gave funds. He helped with communities. He was on the Community Foundation. He was on the Seedman School Board in Grand Rapids. He loved the idea that Don Lovers brought some, some part of Grand Valley to Muskegon, and he encouraged that. And he always looked for ways to help people help themselves more than giving away how can we give something so that it helps people to go back to school or to build a better business? How can we help people help themselves? To, re to receive the Patricia B. Johnson Award is a testament to Buzz for me. It would be an affirmation of all he did while he was here on this earth. It, it would have meant a great deal to him, and therefore it means the world to me.